Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am in Belgrade, Serbia, and I am completely alone. I'm alone for one month. This is the longest me and Felicia have ever spent apart in the four and a half years we've been together. I have never traveled solo before. She went home to take care of her dad. He had a small surgery, you know, so she's needed at home. Let's cross our fingers and hope she's coming back. <laughs> right, Felicia? You're, you're coming back? She's coming back. So I've rented an Airbnb in the city for a month. I'm hoping to go on a few day trips, a few, uh, you know, a few uh, excursions, you might say. I want to show you this Airbnb, but first I want to show you guys the... I'm on the Danube River now, and Belgrade is like known for, for their nightlife. So this whole river, or the whole part of the river, like across from the city center, is filled with like boats turned clubs turned bars. So in the summer, this place goes all night. Like this whole place supposedly is like a party town, okay? Obviously, I have no one to hang out with, so I'm not going to be doing any of that. And I'm not even sure if it's open on the weekends, or in the winter, I mean. I do know one person, though. We have one Serbian viewer. It's this girl. Uh, she messaged me on Instagram. Her name is Moon Apocalypse. What's up? <laughs> it's it's a totally different experience being by yourself, traveling, you know, you, you have to, you know, sometimes I rely on Felicia, and, and she probably relies on me for something. So, you know, here I am doing all the research, and, and that's something she usually does. So gonna be an interesting experience. Welcome to my Airbnb that I've rented for a total of one month. It is a studio, it is small, but it has a kitchen, a small kitchen, has a TV, has a desk, and has a nice comfy bed. What more could I ask for? The only thing it doesn't have. Okay, so I booked this place thinking that I could hook up my PlayStation, because I like to travel with it. But because it is wall-mounted TV, I cannot get access to stick this little cord in there. I literally spent two hours. I even talked to the landlady to try and see if we could take the TV off, but she says it's such a hassle and ugh. So no PlayStation, I don't know what to do. So here's my first experience in Belgrade. Okay, I had to take a train from Poland overnight to Hungary and I spent two days there before I went to Belgrade here. So I took out way too much money in Hungary like an idiot. And now I have all this money and I'm like, hey, I'll just change it when I get to Serbia. Well, the first place I go into doesn't look like the nicest place. And I give the guy my Hungarian money, but I've looked it up beforehand how much money I should get back because Felicia always does that. So I'm like, you know what? I better look it up. I better look it up. So I give the guy my money like this. I'm like, here you go. And then he, he looks at it and then he goes like this. It's just a calculator. And then he, he grabs some money out of an envelope. Doesn't even look up like the exchange rate, which is obviously weird. He's like this. And I'm like, it was like 40% of the value. I'm like, no. And then I was gone. <laughs> I went to a few different places. They won't even change Hungary money. Uh, they won't change the foreign. What are you gonna do? I, got, I guess I gotta go back to Hungary. <laughs> Guys, are you really alone when you have 20 of your friends living next door to you? So someone has built a cat house and literally there is 20, at least 20 cats. One, two, three, four, five, one kitten, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 cats. I'm sure there's more. And I think someone is about to feed them because they're already, like they're all out right now. I'm expecting, either they just got fed or someone's about to feed them, but there's like a little kitten and they actually, you can see them, some of them are actually sleeping at the house. Like it gets like zero degrees, like so cool. We're just in like a little park, like right near the center, right near like the, the famous Moscow hotel. <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> okay guys, we are at the park, kind of near the center, and I heard there's a good way to introduce yourself to the city of Belgrade. Okay, there is a, a tourist tram that runs, it's free I think, and it's like a hop on, hop off kind of tram that runs around, but it runs at night, 
or it runs at like I don't know seven or eight or either way I'm not much of a tourist hop on hop off kind of guy and I found a tram that virtually does the exact same thing tram number two and it's like an old tram with no tourists just local people doing their local things and I'm gonna see the city and it supposedly it takes you around all the interesting areas so let's go So one of the interesting things when you're cruising on that tram is you come past this building that's been like completely destroyed. It looks like, like a wreck, right? But it, it was actually like the defense, something to do with the defense headquarters of Yugoslavia back in the day. So in 1999, it was bombed and they've kind of left it there since then for whatever how many years that is, almost 20 years, as like a memorial or some sort of remembrance, you know, to not forget that I'm sure people died. So it's kind of unique, pretty, pretty interesting uh, to see and there's always like people guarding it and stuff like that. So you can buy the tram tickets at any like little kiosk that sells cigarettes. Um, it was like, I bought like a day pass, it was like, I don't know, three dollars or something. So it wasn't bad. The prices here are pretty good for the tram. One of the things I find most difficult, uh, like especially because I'm traveling alone, is that like ha in Serbia, half of the time, it seems like they're using the Cyrillic alphabet, you know, the one that they use in Russia. It's so different, like the letters are, even though it lo maybe look like a P or an R, it's, it's pronounced differently. So I, uh, you can't, like imagine walking into a, a cafe or something, trying to order something, and all you see is that alphabet. It's like, it's not like you can, in other countries, you can kind of sound it out. But here, what you say, it's, it's totally different. Um, can I get one uh, burek? Uh, spinach? One or uh, Half? So as a tourist here in, uh, in Serbia, like the first thing you gotta order when you get here is burek. Burek is like... Get, get out of here, pigeon. There's a pigeon. It's like a flaky, flaky pastry that comes in like a, a thing. And it's sometimes like meat. I think people like to say that it ain't budik if it ain't meat. But uh, this one's spinach, cheese, and it's like flaky. That actually really good. There's literally pigeons everywhere. Get out of here, get out of here. Get out of here, you bastards. Broke the lens. Oh no! As you guys can see, I have dropped the camera. Luckily for me that the lens took all of the fall, not the camera. I have a filter on the edge of the camera, so the lens didn't break. It was just this filter, but now the filter is trapped on the, it's like jammed on the end of the, the lens. This is why you don't eat greasy burek and try and make a video. But another lesson is that to where, use these, um, polarizers like a, a filter like a blank filter on the end of your lens so that if you drop it it doesn't break the actual lens it will break the stupid glass on top I think I got lucky <laughs> I think I got really lucky okay here we go this is so simple this is what I do in every country we go to um, some more than others because some countries you don't need to but here a lot of people do speak English I mean the younger generation so it's not too big of a deal but if, if, if you're like myself I might be venturing outside of Belgrade well People might not speak that much English. Okay, here we go. Yes and no. Da, ne. I mean, that's simple. Please. Molim. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Dobro jutro. Good night. Dobro veče. Dobro veče. I'm sick. 
This is something that I would say to Felicia if I didn't want to do something. Bolas Nam Sam. <laughs> I'm sick. I don't want to go meet your friends I've never met before. Okay, numbers. Numbers is important only the first few. Like, you don't need to know zero. Not important. One, two, and three is all you need. Okay, so one is jeden, jeden. But in Polish, it's jedno. And here, I hear people saying jedno. So I don't understand. But it says here, je dan, jeden, dva, dva, tree. Jeden, dva, okay, perfect, easy, easy. Okay, molim is please. How to pronounce Cyrillic? Well, this is stupid. This is, this is stupid. Hey, Val, Val, are you watching? This is stupid. <laughs> I like to say that when she's around. Well, that's a good lesson for today. What do you think? Cheers. Hola, Val. Hey, hey babe. babe. What are you doing? Oh, you look so cute. Yeah. I saw your stories. <laughs> yeah. What happened? I, I got uh, I got attacked by pigeons, and I yeah. had uh, grease, like literally, like grease all over my hands. I should have used a fork. Like I think some of the locals use forks. I I put the the camera back down on the table after a pigeon started biting me. I don't know what happened, but it just like it was like it just leaned back and and fell over. Oh shit. Stupid pigeons. And pigeon. Pigeon. I've never and... heard of a pigeon biting anyone ever. Oh, wow, they're crazy out here. <laughs> they look great. Well, I can't wait to see the video. Okay. Well, have a good night. Everyone from the video, you guys say hi, right? They all say hi to you, Fel. Everyone on my side says hi too. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. This is like a, an introduction to Belgrade. You know, I'm getting my feet wet every day and uh, I'm excited because I'm going to hopefully explore some of the other cities and uh, get off the tourist path a little bit. Um, I just want to say adios, amigos, and Fel wants to say something too. Bye guys, thank you for watching. <laughs>